Hey everybody, it's me, Jimmy Flowers Guy, and welcome to the latest episode of the Timmy Flowers Guy podcast. I'm your host, Timmy Flowers Guy. In today's episode, I want to talk about Peter Forsberg's time with the Philadelphia Flyers from this time with the Philadelphia Flyers in 2005, 2006, and 2006, 2007. But before we get into that, let's travel back to the 1991 NHL draft. The Philadelphia Flyers drafted Peter Forsberg. But then decided to later draft Eric Lindros. Many years later, Philadelphia Flyers decided to sign Peter Forsberg to a contract in 2005. But this was way after Peter Forsberg was in his prime. Flyers had Peter Forsberg when he was in like his 30s. But, you know, I remember the day we me and my friend Anthony were uh, flipping through channels on the TV and on Comcast Sportsnet, which was, which was, which it was known as, at the time, had a special report and they said the Flyers just signed Peter Forsberg. And I'm sitting here thinking, this has to be a dream. This has to be a dream. And I'm going crazy. And I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, they just signed Peter Forsberg. Oh my god. And I can remember screaming real loud. I was like, yes! Real loud in my room. And my friend Anthony was, was excited too. And so, Fear Force Heard came to Philadelphia in 2005, 2006, a year after the year 4 lockout. So, um, came to Philly, he had some promise. He was a great player. There were some pros, and there was one con about Peter Forsberg. He had a few, few many pros about Peter Forsberg. If he can be a physical player, he can be a physical player. Um, he could also score goals in many different ways. He was a good playmaker, we all remember that play, he did where he was going around the net with the, with the puck and then stopped and passed it to Eric Dasher Man, where he scored the goal against the Buffalo Sabres, and I think it was game, I, I think game three, yeah I think it was game three or, or game four, I forget, but I remember that play, he made the day hurry that was a Spectacular play. And that goal against Chicago, like, an amazing goal against Chicago. I, I don't know how he scored that goal. And the con kind of about here, Peter Forsberg is, he would come out for the free skate, but he wouldn't be out there for the game because Forsberg had. Problems with his, his, his ankle. It gave him problems throughout the season. He had to be a fourth for, for a good amount of games. I think in January, his ankle started acting up and it kind of, it, it affected the team. Because fourth was great on the power play. He could set guys up. We all see him at play. He made with Simone Gagne, the play he made with Simone Gagne twice, 
And again, we got Pittsburgh in October of uh, 2005. And he was injured a lot. He had problems with his foot, and it affected him a lot. Luckily, we were able to have him in the playoffs, but it was a little too, it was too little too late. And it ended up costing him sliders. And River did have a pretty good year in 2005, 2006. 06, 07. His career wasn't as good as it was in the previous year, despite the injury. So in 06, 07, Rickford was in the Avalon. In 06, 07, was probably one of the worst years of sliders. And I would have to say, one of the un unluckiest seasons of all time when I go fill out the flyers. And Horford in the game against the Washington Capitals, which was a game for women, one nothing. Fear Horford got hurt. He was out for concussion, and he was out for probably a few games. And after River got injured in my game, it was a bit of a momentum switch. The Capitals ended up beating the Flyers pretty handily in that game. And it happened right after Forsberg's concussion. Um, Forsberg did score some spectacular goals in 06 or 07. He scored some spectacular, double spectacular goals. Goals against the Blackhawks, and he scored um, an awesome game time goal against the New Jersey Devils. But Forsberg's time in Philadelphia was two years. And the Flyers, in a month of March, month, and, and during the trade deadline, that year of Flyers made probably one of the, the hardest trades they had to make. Flyers traded Pierce Woodward for Scotty Alcohol and Ryan Parent in, in, during the trade deadline. Woodward that's silly. And unfortunately, this trade happens. This trade happens, I would say, during a game against the Toronto Maple Leafs. And I remember all of them, them coming on TV. Same as the funny. We have officially parted ways with Peter Forsberg and we wish him luck in the near future. We trade with Peter Forsberg to Nashville to Scotty Uphill and Ryan Parent. I myself was devastated because I really liked Forsberg. I thought he was a great player. He was a good leader in the locker room. He could make other players look good the way he would set up plays. And honestly, I got a little emotional when he got traded. And it was tough. But in the long run, it helped the Flyers out a lot. Because Flyers sacrificed a really good player for another somewhat good player, the Scotty Upshaw. 
and then it turns the hockey team around in the year after that. Flyers made the playoffs, they beat the Caps in seven games, and then they beat Montreal, and then they, and we're going to be awesome. Famous and so they were in good position to be a great team. Rivers' career ended pretty shortly with Nashville. He played for Nashville for a little while, then went back to Colorado, and he retired. Years later, the Flyers inducted Peter Forsberg into the Flyers. All the same. Peter Forsberg, in my opinion, if we would have got Peter Forsberg and developed him as a good player in 1991, I think things would have been different back then. Mind you, Eric, I'm not saying Eric Lindros was a bad player, but Lindros was good, but I think Peter Forsberg would have been a better fit for the Philadelphia Flyers in 1991. Forsberg developed very well, and he wasn't uh, after that. In the Stanley Cup, the Colorado Ravalier in 1996. And he sure took off after that. And, and we looked at our, and we were looking at saying, man, if only we would have kept Swordberg. If only we would have got Swordberg in 1991 and developed him as one of the best players in the NHL. And I think maybe, just maybe, we would have won a Stanley Cup in 1996. Maybe we would have won a Stanley Cup in 1997. I, I wonder, some, sometimes I wonder about that. If the Flyers made the right move. But even my dad used to tell me, man, if only we would have got Boris Berg earlier, he would have. He would have been great. But unfortunately, it didn't work out like that in 2005. He got Forsberg when he was older. We would have kept, kept him when he was younger. If he had some promise, he probably would have been better, better off. Because it was just. I don't know, it just, how do you think we would have been better off with Swartberg? For Eric Lindros, he, he shot his best. Maybe this year, I'm not gonna take that away from him, but honestly, Swartberg would have probably been better for So, for sure, please let me know what your opinion is. About Peter Forsberg in the comment section below. But leave a comment. Please tell me what you thought of Peter Forsberg's career as a flyer in 05 or 06 and 06 or 07 as well. So please leave a comment on what your opinion is. Let me know if you think the flyers would have been better off. With Peter Forsberg in 1991. So please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for joining me. This, is, this concludes the Timmy Flyers Guy podcast. Have a good day, everyone.